Hello to all parents, guardians, students, staff and community members. Well, we have almost completed a full term of remote and flexible learning. Along the way, we have all faced a diversity of challenges that you have all overcome. So congratulations and thank you. Following the Premier's Roadmap Conference last week, flexible and remote learning will be continuing into Term 4. Today, I'll provide some clarity around next term for those returning to face-to-face -to -face learning and around the focus, targets and goals of the College over this time. I'll inform you of the safety measures for our students and staff that I will be uh, enforcing while students are on site and the expectations and continued support we require from families to support this. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all families for their effort over the term to support, nurture, guide and in some cases educate your child at home. I acknowledge the diverse challenges that many families have been presented with and thank them for trusting the college with many personal and challenging conversations that have been had. Additionally, I would like to acknowledge that all parents and guardians have done their very best and made many difficult decisions in the best interest of your child's holistic well-being and educational needs. I reinforce that as a college, we are committed in continuing to support the individual needs of all students and families holistically during this difficult time. Words do not do justice to the pride I have for the dedication and effort of all the staff at the college. We continue to receive both positive and strongly informed constructive feedback from families and make the appropriate adjustments to our practices to ensure we are providing the best possible education to every student. Staff are no different than many students, parents and guardians. They've had enough, are exhausted and wish and pray that all students could return to face-to-face -to -face teaching. They don't have a book that informs them how this all works and what is most effective, but continue to deeply reflect and seek consistent feedback daily to do it better. Staff are spending many additional hours every day behind the screen, engaging both group and individual students and parents. Then when the day is done, they go into planning and research mode for the next day. Staff have not been able to switch off both mentally and physically and emotionally since last Christmas, as each term break has required extensive planning and preparation. I can tell you this is not what four years of educational college taught any one of them. This profession is more than just a job, which they willingly and, uh, do and are committed to for the benefit of your children. What I am simply trying to say is that we are also doing our absolute best just as you are. So thank you to all the families for your kind words of encouragement and gratitude. They are always well received by many staff. Last Sunday, the Premier presented his roadmap for the state with a continued focus of reducing the spread of COVID-19, which will result in lowering the levels uh, of restrictions. His message strongly reinforced that all decisions will be based around confirmed cases and key reduction target numbers being met prior to further loosening of restrictions. I know the Premier's roadmap has been received by many people with polar opposite views. As difficult as it was to hear for some of the, uh, some of the Premier's comments, one thing echoed in my mind. To ensure that Christmas holidays can be shared with our extended loved ones further than five kilometres for our home. We must continue to have hope that things will get better and we must play our part in reducing the spread over the weeks ahead. So what does Term 4 look like at this stage? For students, from Monday the 5th of October, start of Term 4, all students will be returning to remote and flexible learning. The Department of Education has placed the return to full-time on-site learning for P2 and VCE and VCAL students to after the GATT. The general assessment test is for all students enrolled in one or more VCE uh, or VET Unit 3 and 4 on Wednesday the 7th of October. This is the Wednesday of the first week of Term 4. VCE students who are required to complete essential assessments during the first week of term will be provided access to the college. 
Students will be informed by their teacher or a member of the senior school leadership team if you are required to be on site. From week two, Monday the 12th of October, we will, uh, we will excitedly welcome back to the college our Prep to Two students and our VCE and VCAL students for full-time on-site learning. Students in years three to 10 will continue with their remote and flexible learning curriculum until the 26th of October, where we await further guidance from the Premier and the Chief Health Officer. On-site supervision for children of permitted workers and vulnerable students will continue to be provided, consistent uh, with the existing guidelines. The college goals for students returning to face-to-face -to -face learning. As a college, we have spent significant time planning and preparing for students to return to on-site learning. We have reflected and reviewed many of the challenges we faced when students returned after the first round of school closures. Our primary goal for the students during Term 4 will be to ensure we set a positive climate for learning for all students. This includes establishing routines, expectations, time management, uniform, organisation, peer friendships and student and staff relationships, just to name a few. Students need to feel a sense of success and achievement on their return to face-to-face -to -face teaching to ensure we are setting up the preconditions for ongoing success from the start of 2021. Please understand this will be done alongside a structured engaging curriculum aligned to your child's needs and standards. Teachers will continue to be flexible, adaptable and reflective in their teaching and learning approaches to meet the needs of every student. I respectfully ask all families that are facing additional challenges that may impact your child's return to face-to-face -to -face teaching to please contact your child's year level leader, classroom teacher or instructional leader. We don't want to place additional pressure on any child as a result of the coronavirus impacted families, so please keep the communica uh, communication channels open. Safety. All students returning to face-to-face -face learning at the college will follow the guidelines and safety practices from the Chief Health Officer. All students above the age of 12 will be required to wear a mask. All students will be temperature checked on arrival to school each day. Social distancing will be adhered to as best as possible. Teachers will social distance. Hand sanitizer will be available to all students in each class. Any student that feels unwell needs to stay at home and seek medical advice. All students are required to bring their own drink bottle as drinking fountains are not to be used. Pick up and drop off guidelines need to be strictly followed by parents while on school grounds to help mitigate further risk uh, or spread of the coronavirus. Specific guidelines will be provided by Ms Jamison shortly. No parent is to enter any building other than the reception. Key dates. The Monday before Cup Day will be a normal school day for all students. The curriculum planning day for the first day of Term 4 has been changed for, uh, to Wednesday the 7th of October from Monday the 5th. This is in line with the GATT and uh, impacts students less. Students will have work to continue on with, but there will be no WebEx meetings between students and teachers on this day. To our Year 12 families, as a college, we are examining all possibilities around different levels of restrictions as to what the end of year celebrations and farewell will look like for our first cohort, cohort of year 12 graduating students. I'm seeking regular guidance and updates from the department with potential options. Additionally, our year 12 cohort is providing guidance and direction into how they would like to celebrate this event. Things that are being considered range from small family group celebrations, live streaming, outdoor venues and students only with parents streaming in. I am committed to providing a celebration for all graduating students and recognise this amazing achievement. This is a significant stage of their lives. All formal Year 12 classes end on October the 28th. As we confirm plans for this event, an email will be sent by Mr Bailey providing all the details, dates and times. Additionally, information aligned to each of the specific areas of the school will be sent from area principals over the coming weeks to all families. I'd like to take this opportunity to formally welcome Carolyn Bamberg, our new middle school principal to our college. We certainly wish her well. And finally, I'd like to wish all students and parents a safe, 
relaxing and peaceful break. I ask that you continue to have faith and hope that this will get better for us all. Thank you.